Hey, 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 happy Sunday. Glory to God. <laughs> God is on the throne this morning. He is smiling down on us, y'all. I am here at the church house about to worship and um, just give a whole lot of love to my God. I showed up this morning, let him know that I am here for him. <laughs> like I do every Sunday. I got on here cause I was gonna say something, but I changed it all up because when I got in the car, my watch did a ding and I looked at it. I thought it was a text message, but it was telling me how long it was going to take me to get to church. It even said the name of the church that I'm going to y'all. Now I knew, oh shoot, I got a call. I knew that my watch did that because, you know, when you get ready to go to work, if you've been going to the same place every day at that same time, it will actually ding and say you got this many minutes or whatever to get to work or whatever. So I knew that the watch did that, right? But it hadn't done that um, as far as me coming to this church on Sundays. That's because it took it a minute to get the data meaning like i've been coming here for over a month but even two months but it's just calculating the um data so i hope this is going through because i got a text message now but um it's just calculating the data so it's telling me how long it's gonna take me to get here and the um the name of the church right y'all so i'm like that is hilarious because it made me think about my God that unlike this watch, my God knows my every move before I make it. He knows where I'm going. He knows where I will be in 10 years because my life has already been planned out. He has planned it for me and I know it's going to be a great life because he only does good things. So this I know. So if I would have left this watch at home and didn't wear it and I would have got it in my car, that watch that's sitting in the house on the dresser wouldn't have known where I was going, wouldn't have had a clue. But I tell you about the God that I serve. He knows. That's what motivates me. That's what encourages me to seek him out because he knows everything. There is nothing he can't do. How can I not worship and praise my God, my Jesus. So I just want to tell y'all that, that God already has a plan for you in your life. And you better believe it's a good plan. It's a good plan. That's why I plant myself here every Sunday to worship him, to show out. I'm not ashamed of him. I'm not going to sit in the house like I used to and watch the teachings on the television thinking that was good enough. No, what's good enough for God is when I'm showing up for him, when I'm getting up on Sundays and I'm not just laying around and I'm getting out and I'm letting everybody know I'm with, I'm here in the church house with like-minded people, the same people that's loving on him. Like I love him. That fellowship is very, very important. You just never know who you will meet at the church house until I'm telling you, I'm a witness of that. <laughs> Nothing but goodness. Cause we are all here for the same reason, for the same God, for the same Jesus. We are here to praise and worship him, give him all the glory. So I just had to say that this morning, that isn't what I was, was gonna start off saying, but it all flowed, it's all good. It was meant for me to say this. So I pray that you all have a magnificent, blessed beautiful week ahead and i pray that god is in the midst of everything that you do praise the lord glory to god and you all have a good sunday talk to you later my magnificent extraordinary women and men hallelujah <laughs>